Hey, what's up, everyone? Raging Golden Eagle here, having way too much fun, as always. And I apologize to you guys early, but I really need to rant about this now. What I am about to say have been my feelings for uh, pretty much since the very beginning, but now, given the latest PewDiePie fiasco, I feel the need to say it. And a little bit of background info for those of you who aren't aware, PewDiePie said nigger on one of his streams, and of course, the usual internet outrage suspects were out reing in full force. And my favorites are those that came out and said flat out, Oh, gamers like PewDiePie are why I don't play online anymore. It's those people I'm gonna be addressing right now. To you easily offended snowflakes, very few of whom are black by the way, all the outrage I have seen has pretty much been from virtue signaling rich white people. But either way, to you guys I have this to say. You don't want to play online anymore? Well, good! I know this is probably gonna come as a shock to you since you view yourself as such a great person, but we don't want to play with your whiny asses anyway, and we never did. You know how before you pussied out and decided you weren't going to play online anymore, you viewed people like trolls and griefers and team killers and the like as simply groups of people you tolerate while you're playing online. You just gotta sift through the trash to get to the good stuff, right? Well, from our perspective, people like you are lumped in with those trolls and griefers and team killers. You whiny little bitches are simply people we tolerate while we're trying to have fun online. And knowing this now, what sort of reaction exactly were you expecting when you said, Oh, I'm not gonna play online anymore. Were you expecting us to come out and say, Oh no, please don't go, I am so sorry, I'll change, I'll change. No, it's not gonna happen. What's going on here is basically the same shit as back in the day when we were kids, and every group of friends had that one annoying kid that everybody hated, right? But your moms all pretty much forced you to be nice to him and hang out with him. But you guys couldn't stand the kid or being forced to hang out with him. Then one day when you guys are just trying to play, that kid throws a temper tantrum and threatens to go home if everyone else doesn't do what they want. And as expected, the reaction from everybody else is like, okay, leave, go home. You're going to be giving us both what we want. And damn, now that I think about it, this analogy is just so dead on and perfect for this situation right now in more ways than one. Because just like that annoying kid back in the day, these people aren't actually going to stop playing online. Because if they did, they'd run out of outrage clickbait to write about. These same people that say they don't play online anymore, I suggest you watch them in the articles they crank out closely. Because I bet it's not going to be more than a month before their next article being outraged at something that happened in an online game. Just like that annoying kid that most every group of fans had to deal with growing up, these guys understand that we don't need them and we want them gone. But they need us. So like any good parasite, they're going to be stuck to us. And I'm not saying they don't exactly have a point when they're annoyed at the kind of behavior they encounter online, but that's what the ability to mute people was invented for. If it's just people like PewDiePie saying words you don't like, you can mute them and never hear from them again. No need to throw a whole freaking tantrum over it. Hell, I do that shit all the damn time. I still remember back in the day when me and my friends used to play TF2 all the damn time. Once we figured out that the randos we keep getting grouped with aren't really worth talking to anyway, we just hopped into our own private Skype call and muted the game audio entirely. You have that option as well. Now, dealing with uh, griefers and team killers and the like, that's a little bit harder. Oftentimes you can't exactly ignore them, but from my experience playing games like Halo 3 online, you really only have to deal with them for one match, and then they're gone. And after a few matches, you have a decent team put together that wants to, well, stay together. But either way, I digress. The whole point of that digression was to point out every single one of us has something that we put up with when playing online that we just not, not necessarily even don't like, but just absolutely despise. But unlike you, we, gasp, hashtag deal with it. Anyone who is not still, mentally anyway, a complete child will be able to tell you that this is the same every single time you deal with other people in any capacity, not just online gaming. You're always going to encounter people you don't like. You're always going to encounter people you just can't stand dealing with. But unlike most situations in real life, 
When it comes to gaming, you can actually do something about it. So if someone saying a mean word in an online game is all it takes for you to be a whiny little bitch like this, I don't even want to know how you react in real life when you encounter something you don't like. That's all I gotta say guys, thanks for listening.